In a rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence, there's a term you may have not heard of, but you will soon if you haven't. It's called personhood credentials. So these credentials aim to verify you as a real human online and not a bot, He's everyone. Real. This is all to combat issues like fraud and, and misinformation, but it's also raising questions about oversight. I got the chance to head to MIT to explore what the future of human and AI interactions could look like. In today's world, the growing use of artificial intelligence is already creating questions about who or what you're interacting with online. Could act on behalf of humans, and that's where everybody's worried. AI is advancing at a breakneck pace. It's getting smarter and faster every year. Now there are growing needs for checks. Naran Solomon is a graduate student and researcher at MIT specializing in human-computer interaction. She explains why we, as humans, may need to start proving our so-called personhood and how it works. First, you show up in person physically, so that's something AI cannot do. Uh, and then the other part is you show some verification of your identity, like a passport. And then you get issued a credential. To put the use of AI-generated content online into perspective, 90% of online content could be generated by AI by 2025. This highlights the need for verifying identities, but creates new concerns about privacy. We are trying to also think about ways of implementing a system that incorporates person credentials in a decentralized way. So it's also important not to have the power in one place uh, because that compromises democracy. We saw it before the 2024 New Hampshire primary when fake Joe Biden robocalls urged voters not to vote in the presidential primary. And the New Hampshire attorney general is now investigating this as possible voter suppression. Then there was this AI generated political propaganda featuring Taylor Swift's image posted by Donald Trump, prompting Taylor Swift to come out and publicly endorse Kamala Harris. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. And fears over AI's ability to enable large scale scams is driving the need to help users distinguish fact from fiction. There needs to be a lot of thought about how this is implemented. Artificial intelligence is undeniably here to stay. And as it evolves, so must our human strategies for living with it. Do -do 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 -do. Yes. Okay. And now, listen, so we asked about a timeline for all of this, right? Like, when could we see these digital credentials implemented in our everyday lives? And Ron said that it could be closer to 10 years from now, that it could be so standard and likened it to sort of the two-factor authentication that a lot of us have to use today. Oh, my God. I know. It can be exhausting. The world we're living in, everyone. <laughs> okay.